Throughout history, advertisements have been a way for companies to not only sell a product, but also appeal to their customers so they will keep coming back in the future. While this makes sense from a business perspective, what advertisers don't realize is that they are creating implicit bias and perpetuating structural racism in these advertisements. In a moment, I am going to show clips from Gatorade advertisements and then clips from beauty product advertisements. While I play them, take note of what you notice about the race of people in these advertisements. Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation from Maybelline, New York. A new liquid sensation that's air-whipped for 100% poreless perfection. New Skin Perfection by L'Oreal. Advanced skincare with powerful formulas helps transform the appearance of skin quality. Texture feels silky soft. So, as you can see, all of the Gatorade advertisements show black men drinking Gatorade, and the beauty product ones show white women using the beauty products. So why is this the case? Let's start with Gatorade. Since Gatorade is a sports drink, it makes sense to have sports players advertise it. In two of the most popular professional sports leagues, the NBA and the NFL, the demographics of the players reflect the Gatorade advertisement, as 74% of NBA and 70% of NFL players are black. Since society views these players as the models to look up to, then society is more likely to buy the Gatorade since it is trusted by these players, which happen to be black men. In the same way, people are more likely to buy beauty products that are shown being used by what the society implicitly biases in this category, white women. As Kathy Delivoski, professor at Brock University in Canada, puts it, white women are the benchmark women in the beauty industry. So now, this is where the whole structural racism part comes in. The problem with all of this is that it all ends up causing racial divides and stereotypes between products such as Gatorade and beauty products, potentially leading to racial segregation in the marketplace. Ever since the 1800s, there have been cases of implicit bias in advertisements. In this photo, you can see a black servant serving Muzzy's cornstarch to a white couple, and in this photo, you can see a black servant washing clothes using the universal clothes wringer. This is a very obvious case of implicit bias, since in the 1800s, no one would have ever even thought twice about these advertisements. Fast forward to the late 20th and early 21st centuries, and you will see that there have been pushes for more racial diversity in ads, specifically by putting more black people in ads. While racial diversity has improved in the entire world, many have felt that this push for racial diversity in ads was too intentional. As Ali Olani Pekin, a black man working in an ad agency, expressed, I was sick of being that person because of the way I looked. It felt like a gimmick they rolled out. Every time we had a brief about youth culture, the creative director would ask, is Ollie free? As if I was the only person in an ad agency of 160 people who had a view. All in all, implicit bias and structural racism in advertisements have gotten better in recent years. Just take a look at this Apple commercial featuring a wide range of actors, not just white or black ones. You have no idea what you're doing. This is great. People who know what they're doing know the rules, and they know what is possible and what is impossible. You do not. The rules on what is possible and impossible in the arts were made by people who had not tested the bounds of the possible by going beyond them. And you can. However, implicit bias and structural racism due to these advertisements still endure to this day. In a 2018 survey, 66% of African Americans and 53% of Latino slash Hispanic Americans have felt that their ethnic identity was portrayed stereotypically in advertising. In addition, 51% of Asian Americans felt that their ethnicities were the least represented in advertising. While efforts have been made to eliminate implicit bias in advertisements, it's definitely still a prevailing issue that needs to be solved. So the next time that you're watching an advertisement on TV or on the internet, take note of the different races being shown and think about whether the advertisement is displaying signs of implicit bias and or perpetuating structural racism. While you might not be able to do anything about it, it's at least an interesting thing to be aware of. Ooh, yeah! You heard what he said. <laughs>